Okay, this is a review of Friedberg, Insel, and Spence's Linear Algebra, 4th edition. I might have actually read 3rd edition, I'm not sure. But I'm pretty sure the content didn't change that much if I read 3rd. Um, so, what do I think of this book? I didn't like it. Although it's, uh, it did work. It did work. There's, it, it worked as a text. I just personally don't like it. I don't think it's very understandable. I don't think it's, it's not dense in any sense. Um, it's just, it's slow. Uh, the proofs are okay, it, it, but it is slow to develop. It's, uh, if you want a quick book, I mean, this is not where you should go. If you want a reference book, this is maybe where you should go. But by the time you get into any uh, linear algebra that people actually study, you're probably not going to use much of this. No, no offense to the book, but um, it's good for preparing for uh, upper division mathematics, and it sh I think it should be used in upper division mathematics course. Um, but it's it's not even it's not hard to read at all. The pre the questions aren't particularly hard. Uh, the problems aren't particularly hard, rather. Um, I would suggest if I were teaching this, if, if I just couldn't find a better one, which is quite possible. I don't know very many books on linear algebra, and I know this one happens to have the material that they probably need to know to get into to get the right idea and to get a few things that you need for other fields. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna give this one three stars. Um, recommend it for now, as I don't know of another book that would be good to use. Strang has been suggested, Axler has been suggested. I've seen bad reviews about Axler. Uh, I don't know anything about Strang's book. Um, but, uh, yeah, I give this one um, three stars.